three, two, one. Good morning. How's everyone out there today? I hope you're doing well. I have a very special guest today. His name is Guillaume McMartin. Some of you met him over the last year because he's been a busy guy getting around, but he's also written a book. But we're going to go back to getting around a little bit. Hi, Guillaume. Hi, Roz. It's good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. So you want to tell us a little bit about your getting around our local area? Oh, my God. I've been there, like, for quite a while last year, actually. I was getting across the country on my bicycle, and when I made it to, uh, was it Whitefish River First Nation, I'm uh, going up the hill, and I get a flat on my bike, and I look, I look behind, and I see my trailer, that I was pulling that I had like 80 pounds of stuff in it. The, the tires like completely gone, like to the rim. And I'm like, Oh no. So I make it to Whitefish Falls and then I meet a friend there and I ended up staying for a week in Whitefish Falls. So I went around the island during the week. I went to Espanola. I stayed there for a little while. That was really cool. Yeah. And you are also in the Massey area, North Shore. Yeah, exactly. I've been there for the summer, and I've been writing a book while I was staying there. Yeah, so why did you do this cross-country tour? Was it just for your own satisfaction, or was it for a cause? Um, Kind of, let's say, like, God, Creator, uh, and a raven actually told me to go ride west, because I was going canoe camping with my dad up north in Quebec last year. And when we drove to the reserve, Kitsiganzi B, I saw the missing women uh, posters, and it put something in my heart that I needed to do something about it. So I prayed, and a couple of days later, I was hopping on my bike with eighteen dollars left in my bank account, and I started journeying across the country. Well, there we go. And how was it? How was your trip? How far did you get? It was awesome. I thought I would make it to Vancouver in three months. Like I had looked at Google Maps and whatever. And in three months, I made it to Wawa. Like, I made it to half of Ontario. <laughs> that was so cool. Hey, Northern Ontario is God's country, so hey, yeah, it's not it's a bad big, thing. But I made so many friends on the way, Ross. Like, I had to stop. I had to stop. And the journey became more about the people I would meet, meeting the communities, being invited to ceremonies, uh, rather than just the final destination. That's right. That's right. And now let's talk a little bit about the book, because that journey to self-realization brought you to the point that you wanted to write it down. Exactly. Exactly. This summer I ended up uh, going back to Sault Ste. Marie and staying there. I was keeping a fire at a friend uh, near teepee at the front of the house. And I started writing and, and like I had dreams and visions about uh, about a man that uh, many people have heard about, whose name is Jesus, and <laughs> I was wondering, like, what happened to Jesus in his 20s before he went on the journey, like, across Galilee to talk about peace, love, and harmony, and so I was praying about it, and, and I started having dreams, visions, and I put it down on paper, and I started writing, and then after, like, a week, my manuscript disappears, like, completely gone from the program I was using to write it. I'm like, ah, so I couldn't, like, I lost, I lost the inspiration for, like, a couple months. I couldn't get back to it. And then when I made it to Massey at my friend uh, Farmer Mike's house this summer, he needed help with the project. So I come here, and then I start, like, I started writing again. And, and I went to the cafe, a little, little cafe in town, a uh, little group mm-hmm. cafe, and sit there. And then I just wrote and wrote, and, like, it just came So within a month or two, I was done with my book, and then it took me like uh, a couple couple more months to uh, edit and then do the the cover and like all the stuff around the publishing the book. And now it's being published for like a week. And how's it going? It's so good. I had a box of 43 books, and like it's almost empty, and people are talking about it around town, and like, oh, you're the author. We want to take pictures with you, and it's so cool. There you <laughs> go. So, how much are you selling the book for? What's it called? Where is it available? The book is called The Messenger The Untold Journey, and then you can look it up on Amazon. Uh, you search it my name, Guillaume McMartin. Uh, Guillaume, that's French for William. And you can find the book on Amazon, so wherever you are uh, in Espo or wherever you are in the world, actually, you can find the book online. Or if you want to get it firsthand, like a signed copy, 
because I really love meeting the people who buy the book. Uh, come see me in, uh, in Massey, and, and I can, like inside the coffee shop, it's there, or and I'm there most of the time. Excellent. Well, I wish you all the best of luck with your sales and having to do a second printing. And uh, also, I wish you the best of luck with your journey. It sounds like you're an inspirational young man who loves life and just wants to share that love with the, the wider public. And I don't think that's a bad thing. No, <laughs> thank you so much, Ross. Oh, you're very welcome.